This is the Cairns Coast Waters forecast for Cape Tribulation 2 Cardwell. It was issued at 0.445 this morning. Please be aware wind gusts can be 40% stronger than the average given here. The maximum high winds may be up to twice the height. board Calypso, Tim Dean's charter boat out off Cairns. We're uh, trolling the inshore of the reef, so the barrier reef's out there. We're inside of it. We've got uh, two skirted lures, two gars, and a teaser. And what we're trying to do here is catch some black marlin, small black marlin that are on these inside reef waters. So we're going to troll around, see if we can find some of these little marlin, and uh, hopefully we'll get a couple on the lures or the rig garries. And what we'll also try and do is uh, switch bait, so that's when a marlin comes up in our spread and then we pitch them a rigged up gar like this. It's got a circle hook, chin sinkers. So if we see a marlin in the spread, we can put it out on this line, hopefully the fish will come over, grab it and we're on. Nice little fish, eh? Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. This is a really visual style of fishing. You've got to keep your eyes on the lures and the teasers. So if a fish comes up, you can respond. Tim's up in the flybridge there because he's high up. He's got a really good view of the water, so he'll probably see any fish first. But it's not just a matter of set and forget. You've actually got to pay attention in this sort of fishing so you can respond, uh, you know, free spool a bait back or, or pitch a bait. So keeping an eye on the teasers and everything, it's, it's part of the game here. You've really got to be on the ball.
fighting reliability. Unbelievably fuel efficient. Unbridled power. Mercury has delivered a new range of 75 to 115 horsepower four-stroke outboards, unlike anything the world has ever seen. Unthink everything you know about four-stroke. Micro jigging is one of the newer forms of sport fishing that's come out of Japan in recent years. It involves using lighter tackle than your standard heavy jigging, so using uh, 5,000 size reels or less, um, fairly light but strong rods, and smaller jigs, uh, anywhere from say 30 grams up to about 120. It's a great way to fish for a range of different species. You're not going to catch a huge doggies and massive kingfish, but you get a great uh, catch in the form of snapper down south. Uh, small kingfish, little tuners, and up here in uh, Cairns, you've got a good chance of trevally, coral trout, red bass, all those sort of demersal type species. It's great fun, um, not as physically demanding as the heavy, heavy style where you're using really big jigs and heavy tackle and really deep water, but uh, the light jigging stuff's um, pretty much available for anyone around Australia and there's a heap of really nice gear out there at the moment. A lot of jigs come pre-rigged, but often you have to actually rig them up yourself. So there's plenty of uh, the terminals available. What the go is, is you, you have your jig hook on its assist hook, which is a strand of Kevlar like that. And you put that onto a uh, solid uh, metal ring. It's just a, a matter of uh, squeezing it through, then bringing the hook around through the loop on the assist hook and drawing it up tight like so. And then you don't necessarily want your hook attached to the jig because that then uh, sort of links it in and the, and the fish doesn't have the angle that you want on it. So what you do is you put a split ring onto your metal ring and you attach the split ring to the eyelet of the jig and when you're tying your leader on you put your leader onto the metal ring that the jig hooks on and that means that your line is actually connected to the hook not to the jig. It's quite important to do that. 